Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about text and dimension styles in AutoCAD. Let's get right into it. Okay, so once we're ready to get going, get into your drawing that you're going to be using this with. I'm just going to open my 2026 floor plan tutorial here as I've been using this for the past few videos. What we're going to do is we're going to take a look at our text style. So what you want to do is take your cursor, go up here to annotation, and you're going to see we have a variety of options here. So there's text styles, there's dimension styles, there's multi-leader styles, there's table styles. And these all kind of work in a similar way. And you can see here that we have two options if we click the drop-down menu. So we have, well, we should have two. I have an extra one here. But you'll have annotative and standard. And then you also have an option to manage text styles. So what you want to do is you want to make sure that your styles work for what you're doing. So we're going to quickly go over text styles. So what you want to do is you want to click on your text style manager here. You're going to open that and you're going to be brought to this dialog box. And what this dialog box does is it allows us to create a text style. So I'm going to create a new one. I'm going to call it YouTube example one. I'm going to click OK and then I'm going to have it highlighted. Make sure it's highlighted and set uh, maybe even set it as current so that you know it's that one and then start editing away. So what you can do is you can select your font. So go through, select the font you want. You can select the font style. So we can do bold, bold, italic, italic, regular, select whatever you want. But what really matters is over here is the size. This is something you need to keep in mind when you're, when you're working with this. There's annotative and then there's just height. So you can't select annotative and, you know, adjust things and keep it the same way. I mean, you can, it's just annotative can be a little confusing. I actually have videos on doing annotative scales, so I'm probably going to leave a link to that somewhere around this video. Go check that out if you want to talk about annotation. Uh, but what you want to do is if you want it so that it just works, just deselect annotative and then select a height that you think would work for your drawing. So in this case, because I'm using the imperial system, I'm using an American system, you're going to want to, you're going to have to do this in feet and inches. If you're using centimeters or meters, it's going to be in centimeters or meters, but just keep that in mind. Uh, keep your width factor at one for the most part, simply because it won't make it look stupid. Um, so just come through here and, and you can see how, how dumb it kind of looks. So please keep that in mind. You can also make it upside down. You can make it backwards, whatever you need. You can also change the angle. So like 25, I can make it 50, you know, you can make it look insane. Um, but uh, I digress. Let's continue on here. So select a height that you think would work for you. And then we're going to click apply. And we're going to select that. It says the current style has been modified. Do you want to save your changes? Absolutely, I do. Um, I don't want an angle. I'm just going to keep it at zero. We're going to click apply and we're good to go. We're also going to set it as current and then we can close. Once we close the dialog box, we can, box, we can select our text and we can start texting. So you can see here, it's going to give you a preview of how big your text will be. So I'm going to do this and I'm going to say hello. And you can see that's how big my text is. I like that. But you can see if I need to change it, what I can do is I can come here I can click on this and then I can go here and let's say I want to double it. So I make it a foot. So I type in one foot, apply, then close. And then when I go and I text again, it's going to be even bigger. So I'm just going to show you the comparison here. Now we do hello. And you can see how that will scale your text and everything to where you need it to go. So one thing you need to keep in mind when you're doing text like this is one, when you're doing standard and you're not using annotative scales, you can go to your paper space and you can have your drawing scale. So if I click in my viewport, I can have my drawing scale. I'm just going to show you what this is. It's yellow, so you can't see it that well, but you can see I can go to any, I can pretty much go to any type of, of scale here and my text is going to show up exactly how it needs to. So that's something that you need to keep in mind when you're doing that. When you switch to annotative scales, the scale that it's set to is the scale that it's going to show up as. So if this was annotative and I went to my layout, it would not show up here unless this number and button here, let's say I, I was doing an annotative scale at one to eight. If I clicked one to eight here, then my text would show up. But if I clicked, let's say one to five, all this text would disappear and I wouldn't be able to see it. And that's a big problem we see. And that's why we're making this video. So make sure if you have that problem, maybe switch to a standard style and just size it to the way you need it. Like I just showed you. So that's how you do text styles. So what about dimension styles? Well, it's quite similar. You click on your dimension style here, the second one down, we're going to create a new one and we're going to call it uh, YouTube example one. 
we're going to click continue and then we can go through and we can edit all of this. So you can see that the dialog box looks a little bit different from the text styles. That's okay. Uh, and that's simply because we're using a different thing. So you can go here and you can see if we click on our lines, we can go and adjust everything we need. I don't recommend you touch any of this. Uh, leave it the way it is. If you go to symbols and arrows, you can change it to what you need. So you can do architectural ticks. I usually use those. You can use dots. You can use whatever you want. So just click what you need and you can also adjust your arrow size right here. So again, if you're not using annotation or error in annotative scale, you're going to be able to adjust the arrow size here. I think you can even do it if it is annotated. Uh, so keep that in mind. This, this will increase or decrease the size of your architectural ticks and everything as well. Once you go to text and you click on the text here, you can see we have our text style. We can keep it as standard. We could also just select the textile YouTube example. Um, however, we don't really want to do that. So we're just going to go to standard. Um, you can select the text height here, and this is where everything is it's kind of imported. So you can adjust all of these variables. You can change the colors and everything um, just to make it work for what you need. I don't recommend a fill color unless you need to. And you can see here our text height is going to be, you know, one foot. Um, vertical, everything looks good. And then for our fit, this is where we need to fix things a little bit. So again, if you come here, you can click annotative and it's going to be set to the scale that you're using. And that's great. And again, we have a video on that. Go check it out. But I recommend if you're having issues with that to just use an overall scale of, let's say, one. And you can always increase this number after you adjust your text and everything to make it show up properly. So there's different ways. Again, you can fix this. I used to just do a standard for the text. It was always just standard. And then we would scale it up. Now you can you know, select this and then scale it from here. And then we can select how it works. You can see here that our text style is in, it's it's in inches, it's not, it, it's in decibel. So I can come here, I can actually switch that to architectural. So just switch that if you go to your primary unit, switch that to what you need it to be. Because it, you know, it doesn't matter if you go and set your units uh, as architectural or anything. When you go and set your units, this is where it's going to matter for your dimensions, because that's just for drawing. This is for actually getting your dimensions and everything on there. And you can also adjust the precision as well. So you can see, we can go to up to uh, a 256th of an inch so it's quite precise and then everything right here is is going to work everything's set up i think and i think we're good to go so what we're going to do now is test this so we're going to click ok we're going to select our youtube example one we're going to set it as current we're going to close and then we're going to test it out so i'm going to go to my dimension here and i'm going to draw a dimension so i'm going to go here and i'm going to go here and i'm going to go here and you're going to see that my dimension is showing up exactly like i need it Again, this is a standard style. Make sure when you're drawing that you do your drawings properly and you have everything set to the way you need it. Because again, I'm doing this the way that I have things set up for this drawing. And you can see here that my adjusted text text height here, it's at the same scale and everything as my text that I, that I selected here. So again, we're going to run through that again. So if I click here, I modify my YouTube example one, I go to my fit. You can see I can actually, I can increase the scale. So if I want it to be twice as big, I can click that. I can press enter and it'll be twice as big. I don't recommend that. You can do that. And that's one way to scale it. Or again, you can go to your text and like we just did, you can edit a text style, make it show up the way you want it. And then you can simply just select what you need. Text height is automatically going to be there. Everything's ready to go. You click OK, close, and you're ready to go. And it's going to look exactly like this. So guys, I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions, leave, uh, you know, comments and, you know, uh, again, like subscribe and maybe even join the channel. It really helps us figure everything out. And, you know, if we can help you go check out our webinar that we've got on our website, it's really helpful. And hopefully it helps you if you're interested in architectural drafting. So guys, again, take care and we'll see you in the next one.